Welcome back, Patterson. I hope you've had a chance to warm up after your visit to the North Pole. <laughs> because time is of the essence for this next mission. We're sending you to the Steinberg salt mine, located just outside of the Austrian village of alt Ausey. The Third Reich has used the mine as its all-purpose safety deposit box, creating a vast cache of paintings and sculpture. The Nazis have had over six years to plunder the riches of Europe. They've looted art from personal collections and museums, stealing almost the entire cultural heritage of Western civilization. Now, I know I might not look it, but my college minor was art history, and it gives me grief to no end when I think about everything that's been lost in this war, all the art that's been destroyed in the never-ending artillery barrages and bombing raids. Two days ago, our intelligence intercepted a communique from the regional governor ordering the destruction of the Steinberg salt mine and all the artwork inside. The garrison's commander responded enthusiastically that the place would be wired with enough explosives to destroy not only the mine, but part of the adjoining town as well. Sadly, this situation is not without precedent. Last year, after the invasion... Hitler ordered the general in charge of Paris, von Dietrich von Cholitz, to burn the city lest it fall into Allied hands. For history's sake, Cholitz refused and declared Paris an open city, saving it from certain destruction. Unfortunately, what Cholitz did was an aberration in the way your typical German officer thinks. There's a jeep waiting for you outside, Lieutenant. Stop this madman from carrying out his orders. Dismissed.
This war is going to end soon, and unfortunately so may the Grand Alliance that won it. Ike's going to let the Soviets into Berlin first, and once that happens, everything will change. The spoils of this war are not going to be land or riches, but scientific research. The Germans have a huge head start in jet propulsion and rocketry, technology that's going to change the world we live in. This mission that you begin today is why you were brought into the OSS. It's been in the planning stages since before D-Day, since before I even knew your name. Lieutenant, you're being sent back into Germany one last time, on a mission that just may determine the fate of the free world. 150 miles southwest of Berlin lies the Hartz Mountain Range. Buried deep inside it is the Nordhausen Mittelwerk plant, where the Nazis have been building their rockets ever since the Pienemunde raid in 43. The facility is run by the SS, and the toughest of the Waffen divisions are stationed there. The Germans consider the V2 program their last hope, and they'll protect it at all costs. We need to learn everything the Germans know, and bluntly, we can't let the Soviets find out. Your mission is to turn their own terror weapon against them, capture their research, analyze it the best you can, then use it to destroy the facility. I've been told that luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. If that's the case, Lieutenant, I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope to see you back in London soon.
General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe. 